Today in this video, let's continue the topic simplification of context free grammar. In my previous video, already uh, we discussed about how to eliminate the epsilon production rules. To simplify the grammar, in fact, there are three steps. The very first step is elimination of null productions or epsilon rules, elimination of unit rules, and elimination of useless rules and unproductive symbols. Already I have made a video how to eliminate null productions or epsilon production rules. Now let us move on to the step 2, eliminate unit production rules. Before getting into the video, let me request all my viewers and the students to do SSLC. Share, subscribe, like and comment. Those things will motivate me to mo do more videos. Okay, now let us see how to eliminate unit production rules. Uh, before uh, getting to know how to do elimination, let us see first of all what is unit rule. What is unit rule? A variable derives another variable is a unit production rule. In the sense, on the right hand side, we can have a single variable that is which is written in uh, uppercase, a capital letter. A derives B is a unit production rule. B derives C, of course the C is written in uppercase. It is also a unit production rule. Unit means one. One variable on the right hand side, if it is there, you can easily identify such rules or unit production rule. Now consider in this case, A derives C. The C is a terminal. This is not a unit production rule. Right? Only these two rules are unit production rules. Okay. Now I have uh, taken an example. This example, the same example grammar I have considered in my previous video. From the actual grammar, I have already eliminated epsilon rules. This is epsilon free grammar, but this grammar contains unit production rule. Now we are going to see how to eliminate those unit production rules. So first let us identify what are the unit production rule exist in this. So let us analyze the rule for S. Okay, on the right hand side there is no single variable. So S is not deriving any variable on the right hand side. Okay, let us analyze A rule also. A derives A, B, R, A. B derives B A A. It means we have a production rule B derives A which is unit production rule. Now come to the next rule the C production rule. In this rule we have uh, two unit rules. One is C derives B another one is C derives S. Let me write it here C derives B another one is C derives S. Okay these are the unit production rules we have identified. Now, in the last rule, the production rule for D, there is no unit production rule. So, we have three rules, which is B derives A, C derives B and C derives S. Now, all these rules are to be eliminated. Even after elimination, the meaning of the grammar should not get changed in the sense. The language recognized by this grammar as of now should be the same as a language generated by the grammar after free from unit production rules also right now let us see the steps the first step is separate unit and non-unit production rules which we have already done and the second step is rewrite the grammar by replacing the unit variables which are available on the right hand side with its corresponding rules okay first step is already over now let us concentrate on the second step while doing the second step, always we write or we rebuild the grammar from the last production rule, from the last production rule. What is the last production rule here? It is D derives DDRCC. Let me write it as it is. D derives DDRCC. There is no change in this production rule. Let us move on to the previous production rule. In the previous production rule, we know that there are two unit production rules so c derives b now i should not write b i should eliminate b so let me go and check what is defined for b b is defined as b a r a r a let me not consider this now i'll consider these two in place of b let me write b a r a but B can be rewritten as A also. If I write A here, it means I'm introducing once again the unit production rule. So I should not do that. Now in place of A, 
let me replace with its right hand side so what should be written for a it is a b r a right in place of b i try to write what is the definition for the b production rule but b in turn derives a which is another unit production rule so in place of a i try to replace with this a b r a so all these things are done now let us continue with the rest of the rules c derives b we are done c derives s also s is a unit production rule this should be eliminated so how to eliminate this whatever is defined for s all those things i have to replace in place of s so let me write that so what is defined for s a a b a c b a a a since there is no place i cut down and write here c derives a b r a b that's all we have defined the definition of the c rule c derives b in place of b i have just replaced or whatever is there on the right hand side in place of s also whatever is there on the right hand side i have written and the rest of the rules i have to maintain as it is so c derives b c b r b b done okay now let us move on to the previous rule we have written what is d what is c now let us write what is b now so what is b b derives b a let me write as it is let me include this terminal a also now you all know what should be written for this a this a is a unit production rule so we should not rewrite the same a here instead of this we have to go and check what is defined for the a variable a variable can be rewritten as a b r a so i have replaced this a by this okay so b production rule is also over now let us write a a derives a b r a there is no change in the rule even in the definition of s also there is no change we have to write as such a c b a r a a r a b r a b right now this is the final grammar after eliminating the unit production rule there is no variable a single variable on the right hand side if you carefully analyze right this is a way to eliminate the unit production rules only one point what we need to remember is better start writing the grammar from the last production rule that will not allow you to miss any of the variable definition uh, when eliminating uh, unit production rules we are not writing from s yes, we are writing from the last production rule which is d i hope you would have understood this problem if any doubts or any comments are there please leave the comment in the comment section thank you